The news at 530 begins with a landmark trial connected to the Capitol riots. The jury now has the case in the trial of the former Proud Boys leader and his lieutenant. Yeah, Enrique Otario is charged with seditious conspiracy for what prosecutors say was a plot to attack the Capitol on January 6th. WUSA 9 investigative reporter Jordan Fisher has been covering this trial every day for more than four months now. And uh, Jordan, yeah, we've been talking about this for a while. Why is it taking so long? Yeah, I was actually an intern when this trial started, and here we are four months later. <laughs> uh, look, this is an adversarial system. This is how the justice system is supposed to work. The government uh, brings charges. It presents evidence. The defense attorneys zealously defend their clients. And as attorney Norm Pattis told the jury earlier today, they have argued over every inch of this case. That's absolutely true. Now, add on top of that, there have been a number of evidentiary issues, uh, not the least of which was the late-breaking uh, revelation that a, a major witness that Enrique Tario had wanted to call had been uh, from more than a year and a half, a confidential informant for the FBI. And you see how this case, this trial has just gotten sort of stretched and stretched and stretched out. And, and now here we are four and a half months later. So many twists and turns. So there have been two previous seditious conspiracy trials. What makes this one different? Of course, uh, you know, two groups of Oath Keepers facing those seditious conspiracy charges have already gone before a jury and resulted in convictions. Uh, and you may recall what we talked about so often in those trials was that QRF thief that the Oath Keepers has, that quick reaction force that was, you know, weapons stored in Northern Virginia outside of the city. There's nothing like that here with the Proud Boys. And that becomes an issue because part of that seditious conspiracy charge is prosecutors have to prove that these Proud Boys forcibly very important, forcibly conspired to oppose the government, and in this case, to prevent uh, the lawful transfer of power. Without that QRF, the question is, will a jury find that that forcible component has been met? All right, again, the jury has the trial now, or has the case, and uh, talking about Enrico Tario and his lieutenants, we know you're gonna stay on top of it. Jordan, thank you.